Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at geared tripod heads. What they do, how they do it, and what they're good for. A geared tripod head, put very simply, is a tripod head that is moved by the turning of gears rather than the force of the operator. There's one wheel for vertical, one wheel for horizontal, and by using both at the same time, you can get a diagonal. It works very much like an Etch-a-Sketch. Now it's a very simple device, but it's that doesn't mean that it's easy. It takes practice to make this work and to do it under pressure, like when there are dozens of people standing around and millions of dollars being spent, it takes a lot of practice, like hundreds of hours. It's probably equivalent to using a Steadicam system or something like that. You can pick it up pretty quickly over a weekend, but to get good at it, it will take weeks, if not months. The one I'm using here is the ProAIM Orion geared head. Uh, it's probably the most affordable professional geared head on the market. It's under $2,000. Uh, it's very nicely made. Definitely the best bang for your buck for the price. Um, and it's the only geared head that I found uh, worth using under 10 grand. The weight capacity is 55 pounds, which is pretty close to what it weighs. And I used it to get all the awesome smooth shots that you'll be looking at in this explanation. The first time people see a geared head, they often ask, why would you use this instead of a fluid head tripod, which is the standard in the industry? The reason has to do with the history of cinema. Uh, back when films started being made 100 years ago, cameras were huge and fluid heads hadn't been invented yet, not until 1946. So geared head was pretty much the only way to get your camera to pan and tilt. Operators got very, very good at doing complicated things and they would practice by writing their names or doing any number of um, tasks to show how good they were with a geared head. This system also allowed uh, camera operators to operate cameras on the end of cranes without being on the crane themselves. When fluid heads came along, they initially didn't have a huge amount of capacity, uh, and so geared heads continued for a long time into the 40s and 50s. It wasn't until the 60s and 70s that they became the standard, as cameras got lighter and the fluid head capacity went up. So if fluid heads are easy to operate and cheaper, why do people still use geared heads? Well, there are two main reasons. The first one is capacity. Geared heads can carry a lot more than typical fluid heads. And if you have a big camera set up with a big long zoom lens, or you have a multiple camera set up like they use on the Irishman, a geared head can not only carry this load easier, but can do so safer. You can get high capacity fluid heads, but if you forget to lock them, the whole camera can come crashing down. Whereas a geared head isn't going anywhere until you actually move the wheels one way or the other. The second reason, and perhaps the main one, is that geared heads give a different quality to the footage that you shoot with them. Everyone understands the difference between handheld and locked off tripod camera work. Handheld is more alive, it has more breath, it's more a subjective viewpoint for the operator and for the audience. Tripod work, by comparison, is much more permanent and impersonal. It's much more objective. Now a geared head is like a fluid head tripod, only more so. There's even less shake, there's even more stability, there's even less personality. It feels definite, it feels definitive. Some filmmakers really like this perspective. David Fincher, for instance, almost never shoots handheld, and he loves um, geared heads and dolly movement rather than handheld. He said that this perspective gives a weight to the story. It makes it feel like the forces of fate winding down to their inevitable conclusion. I personally really love this feel, and until I got the ProAIM Orion, I never had the budget to get this into my movies. Pretty much the industry standard in geared heads is the Ari head. Uh, this thing retails for over $20,000. Super high capacity, um, super well engineered, but it's out of the reach of most indie filmmakers. And this is important because if you're gonna get good with a geared head, you actually need like I said, hours, if not hundreds of hours to practice with it. The Orion is a really good choice for this as an entry-level geared head. It has all the capacity that you need for the biggest camera you're gonna put on it at 55 pounds. The wheels are counterbalanced, so they don't move when you take your hands off them. And it's still light enough for one person to set up and operate without needing extra assistance and extra hands on set. Thank you to ProAIM for the Orion head and for sponsoring this video. I hope it helps someone out there bring a whole new quality to their camera work. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.